Check this out. We don't we don't talk about things that are nonsense. We don't even entertain nonsense, my brother. So we not even Try this out, brother. We don't even entertain bullshit, nor do we talk about it. So we're not even going to go there. You're obviously the talented one of the two. If I were you, I would jump ship right now. You have to do the sway Lee out of their piece two fingers. I'm out. Let her go host her talk show and follow Diddy around the island. Okay, everyone, the internet drama is going crazy right now, and you all need to join in. Not only did DJ Academics rile up Santana, but he also recently came for Young Miami after her album underperformed, and he called her out for being a flop. Diddy was not having it, and he attacked Academics, telling him to keep Miami's name out of his mouth. Did he really threaten to end Academics' career, Kisha? You attempt to sing like you were the one who appended the side girl, but your brand is done, so you risk getting angry. Get Diddy Diddy, call me, click that phone, am I talking to you? What am I talking to you about? Well, it appears that Diddy is once again young Miami's knight in shining armor because he just stood up for her and sent some strong words to DJ Academics for trying to clown her now. In case you missed it, Young Miami and her fellow city girl JT recently dropped their album Raw. The city girls have been making some pretty big moves in the last few years, and they seem to be in the media. People constantly talking about them, and they frequently attend the biggest and most glamorous events in Hollywood. Therefore, you would think that their album would be fairly successful, but it didn't perform well, and many people consider it a flop. A lot of people have been saying for a while now that JT should go solo because Miami doesn't seem to really want to be in music anymore and is only doing it because she wants to stay famous and she knows that the music will keep people talking. This seemed to be driving a wedge between her and JT in the last year when fans started noticing some cracks in their relationship. The album only sold about 10,000 copies in the first week, which is extremely low for a group that gets a lot of media buzz and is signed to a major record label. As you can expect, fans began debating whose fault it was and how young Miami seemed to be sick and tired of the whole rap thing, but she isn't putting in as much effort as she should be. When Miami first started to distance herself from JT in public, people wondered if it had anything to do with the fact that Miami was dating Diddy and thought she was better than JT. After all, young Miami's relationship with Diddy opened doors for JT that JT wasn't even aware existed. For instance, Miami launched her own brand, Carisha Please, where she sells a variety of goods, including clothing and merchandise. She even debuted her talk show, Carisha Please, on Diddy's Rebo TV in the share on top, for which she begged a BET award. Now there have been rumors that Diddy may have done favors for her, but let me assure you that a win is a win. GT isn't exactly slacking. She's been in a solid relationship with little Uzi work for a while now securing her own bag. But as I mentioned Miami's situation, with Diddy has opened some bigger doors for her, and there's no denying Miami has more opportunities than JT. But that's not all, because fans notice that Miami seems to be focusing more on her personal brand, and the city girl's brand doesn't really seem to matter much to her these days. It's like she used the city girl's brand as a stepping stone to build her own brand, and now that she has a name, she's no longer committed to rapping, and she doesn't even care enough to pretend like she did in fact last year. She claimed that she didn't even want to rap anymore, saying, B, I don't even rap, no more I retired. This is where fans started to speculate that the city girls were slitting up the rumors, got really strong, when JT unfollowed the city girl's official Instagram page. She also had this interview where she kind of hinted that the city girls were going to break up. Hopefully, I mean, hopefully, um, the future of the city girls can beat the city girls, um. And I pray that our egos does not like separate it, mum, or the internet or a guys, or like nothing you know what I'm trying to say, like nothing I hope now.
She didn't spell it out all the way, but the writing on the wall didn't look good for the city girl's future. Now the rumor mill kicked into high gear when JT dropped the bomb that she'd been going solo in an interview magazine feature. The interviewer spilled the bean, saying now, with her first EP imminent, JT is looking to make money moves as a solo artist. As she tells her friend and collaborator, Kaliochis, she's going to give it to them raw now. Just the fact that she was already talking about herself as a solo artist had fans waving red flags left. And right, it pretty much sealed the deal that things weren't going smoothly between JT and Young Miami. What made it even more intriguing was Young Miami's radio. The project silence raised additional concerns among the fan base. But in any case, they made a shocking announcement about a new album that we definitely didn't see coming. Let's talk about how the album is doing now that it has been in the works for a while. Remember, they were originally going to release it last year, but they decided to hold off because Beyonce was getting ready to release Renaissance at the same time. This is how they finally decided to drop the album, which brings us to the current drama. As I mentioned earlier, the album didn't perform well at all and received a lot of negative reviews. One of the first people to review it was DJ Academics, who had some harsh words for the record. He stated that the new album is selling between six and 8,000 copies in its first week. He claimed that the last time the record was released, double the amount of styrofoam was used, but that this time we have to switch to plastic. In essence, he said, it's like ordering takeout and paying with plastic. He also mentioned that we should hold some of these untalented, lazy, and unpassionate people accountable since these two are really terrible. City girls are a byproduct of good writers, good people that put image around them, people that granted them the city girls. There's nothing the city girls has actually ever really did for their underscore underscore. So now I know he was talking about the album, but it was clear as day that he was going after young Miami. Specifically, I mean, he kept going on and on. But then he made this bias obvious when he came out to tell JT to dump young Miami and just go solo because Miami is talentless. You're clearly the talented one of the two. If I'm you, I'd jump at it. No, okay, you got to do the way la out of their piece. Two fingers, I'm out, okay. Let her go host her talk show and follow Diddy around on the island, okay? I mean, people have been saying this for a couple of months now that JT needs to go solo because she's clearly the better rapper of the two. I mean, Miami herself has said this when she didn't want to rap anymore. But Academics was very mean and disrespectful with his words. He could have passed his message across without necessarily being so rude. But I feel the reason he did it was because he and Miami have had some bad beef between them. So he takes every chance he can to drag her. For example, last year, he clowned young Miami. After Didi welcomed a baby with another woman, an academic said young Miami, mad at me for pointing out the obvious that man had another baby with another woman you the side chick. So don't get mad now, at least you get hella gifts, queen. Live your life. Moreover, if you tell us about your business, we will undoubtedly remark. The day Nick announced his pregnancy, women would never lose their minds. I'm just saying, wake up. You guys know what you signed up for. He kept making fun of young Miami, even after everyone had moved on, and it was obvious he was after her. It got so bad that Diddy had to intervene at last to save the day he tweeted, Young Miami is not my side chick. Never has been, never will be. She's very special and important to me. And I don't play around with my showy walk or discuss things online. I won't be starting today, so go ahead and think whatever you want. But know that if you do something to hurt mine, I'll come to your house and we'll talk about it like we're human and look at it. After an insider said that Diddy spoke with academics, and instructed them to back off and stop causing issue for young Miami. Diddy is stepping in to save the city once more. The insider added that Diddy allegedly threatened to ruin Academic's career 
had earned him for good now, even though he still won't publicly claim young Miami as his own, he still feels very protective of her, especially from people in the industry. Well, Diddy stepping into the situation certainly explains why Academic suddenly backed down from the fight when he was determined to drag Miami for days and clowner just to embarrass her in public, well fans drew their comments on this saying stuff like in my honest opinion. I don't think DJ Academics was wrong about his take on the city girls. At all they are flaming out their music, don't hit the same like it used to J 